Hey, what's up guys? Vejas here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an FM8 growls like this. So yeah, uh, just pop open a brand new FM8 right here. Uh, there are a couple things that we have to set up before we actually start the growl. Um, so yeah, just uh, be aware of that. Uh, so if I can find FM8 right here. Uh, first thing, it's not very loud when you first get started, so you know, be sure to put the volume up a little bit. Uh, I like to go over here, operator. Uh, or ops and then turn this to 100% uh, out so yeah that just makes it louder and then uh, you can just you know put a note down uh, F2 is a good one it's pretty low um, so yeah just put that uh, down on your playlist right here and um, also one thing we can set up right away is just go over here on the pitch uh, just put this mod setting to zero uh, to make sure that our mod wheel right here doesn't automate uh, the pitch and also um, just uh, this up and down, uh, just make sure you put it at uh, positive 12 here and negative 12 right here. This is going to allow us to do pitch bending um, with the uh, control right here, uh, which actually happens to be the same one of you know down here. Uh, you just can't see it because of my webcam, but right here. Uh, wait, oh, there, there you go. Perfect. All right, um, now we want to modulate this uh, mod wheel right here. Uh, the only thing is we can't create an automation clip for the mod wheel itself right here. It does not work at all in, a, in an FL Studio. So the way around this is just to go to this gear right here, give it a random port. I'll go with like 31 or something. Uh, and then get a MIDI out just right here. And just do the same port. So 31. And now you're just gonna go over here to one of these macros, uh, grab the gear right here, uh, full name, you can name it whatever you want, uh, I'll just do mod wheel, mod wheel, and controller, this is important, you have to put one right here, it's gonna automate the um, mod wheel, so accept that, and now you can create your automation for the um, for the mod wheel in a, inside FM8. So uh, if I can just demonstrate this very quickly, I don't think I can, um, I'll, I'll just create an automation for this uh, quickly. So just like one line going up, I'll just zoom in into our playlist here. So yeah, right here, there you go. That's our automation. And as you can see, it's moving up, it's moving right there, and it's also going to move right here. So yeah, that's a, that's a way around automating uh, the mod wheel here. Uh, so I'll explain FM basically, um, very briefly. Um, so you're going to be feeding one oscillator into the other. Um, we're gonna be doing more than one, but uh, that is basically it. Um, you feed oscillators into other oscillators to get weird sounds. And I'll just do a quick example of that. So yeah, that that is the amount right here, uh, the level uh, at which you know it uh, it makes it sound weird. Uh, it, FM is very complicated, so that that is just the way I like to see it. Um, so yeah, uh, first thing we're gonna do is uh, go over here to our oscillator E and uh, just set it to a triangle, triangle wave. This is just more, it's just more sharp and it just sounds better, I think, than the sine wave. The sine wave is more soft and you know, it's just uh, very, very gentle, to be honest. <laughs> so you just wanna find a nice position that sounds good uh, to start here. So yeah, that's not too bad. Um, and then another thing you can do is um, go over here to our mod and um, set it to, uh, you could set it to 100. This is just gonna start the automation at zero and then finish at 100. Uh, or you could just set it lower and it's gonna start lower. I think it starts at whatever position you let it there. And then it kind of makes it way up to 100. So I like just leaving it, you know, under 100, this value right here. So we actually get some automation. And then what you can do is turn on these two oscillators up here. And um, oscillators that actually sound good are these right here. Uh, soft square, soft tristat, short tristat. These are really nice. Um, you can uh, you, you can kind of feed them already. And you can get some really weird sounds just off the start. Um, and uh, yeah, you just... Uh, Put, put this mod, give that a value right here so that it's being automated as well. Um, so there you go, that's a nice little automation right here. Uh, you can always do more, um, you know, routing here um, by feeding D into F and stuff like that. And you can also do the opposite, you can feed um, F into D. Like that. 
Yeah, and yeah, you can do uh, you can do pretty much anything. Uh, just as long as it sounds good, it's good. Um, like Seamless would say, actually. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and uh, let's see what else we can do here. Uh, I like to feed more oscillators into that stuff. So uh, for oscillator C, we're just gonna get like I don't know, get like uh, maybe a formant. I, I tend to mess with those sometimes, not always. Uh, if you don't want to do that, you know, just stick with the square or the basic forms, such as sine, triangle, uh, parable, saw, square, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, so now we'll feed that into D. And uh, we'll also set a value here to the mod so that it gets automated as well. And you can see the automation that happens to the oscillator right here. Once again. Oh, there you go. Uh, we can maybe set the ratio up higher for this. Yeah, that sounds quite nice. And then, you know, we can feed it um, into more, you know, feed more oscillators into others. So, like, stuff like that. And let's see. There you go, that's a nice little sound right here. Uh, you can already kind of create your automation for the pitch right here, uh, just like so, and kind of trace something really quickly. So I like to do, you know, something simple. Um, hold on, we'll just copy this right here, paste it here. Uh, yeah, just some... Let's go higher, let's go uh, F3 for the note. So yeah, maybe something like that, let's see. Yeah, that's a nice little automation right there, it sounds good. Um, and that's actually pretty much it for FM8. You just uh, feed oscillators into other oscillators, um, and that's that's how you go about it. To be honest, um, and uh, if you want it to be automated, you know, just follow the the trick that I gave you here with the mod wheel and the and the MIDI out right here. This is a very good trick. Um, now for the post processing that I like to do to make it sound more distorted and stuff like that is just you give it a track right here, um, a mixer track. And you can start off using um, multiband compression if you'd like. Uh, I like to use Maximus. You know, just boost everything just very you know, briefly or whatever. So yeah, that's a nice start right here. I'll turn down volume because it's going to get a little bit loud. Um, another thing you can do is add vocodics. This this is very important for um, really, really like growly modulated sounds. You need to find a cool setting. I explained a bit vocodics in my previous sound design video. This sounds quite nice, to be honest. Uh, the only thing is it's missing a little bit of high end. So I just like to EQ it very briefly. And the next thing you can actually do is um, e e you can distort it, you know? I like to distort it. I like to do that. That sounds quite nice. Um, the only thing is um, it's it doesn't sound very interesting right now if you can tell like obviously it, it sounds like like a FMA growl but you can make it sound more crazy uh, by doing peaking EQs before the distortion you know stuff like that that makes it sound really cool and even like uh, positive peaking just stuff like that you can make so stuff sound so cool so now we'll do both this is not necessary, but it's just if you want to make it sound more cool. Um, so we'll just create an automation for this and for this one right here. And I'll make sure we get a visual right here, so I'll detach this plugin right here. And we'll go, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, automate these knobs. So band three is the uh, band, the negative peaking right here. So, so we'll do something like this. Yeah, maybe that. And then uh, we'll do uh, automation for this peaking one, right here, the, the number four. Yeah, there you go. That's a nice little, this, it kind of acts as a filter as well, which is very cool. Uh, next up, what you can do uh, to make it sound even cooler is uh, go mess with chorus. Uh, another thing is, um, you know, flying your phaser, that kind of stuff. It makes it sound really cool. But we'll focus on chorus right now. Chorus is really nice, um, it, you know, sometimes it's a little bit too much, but what you can do is lower the rates for the LFOs, and also lower the uh, mix. I really like this effect. Chorus is amazing. Um, and on top of that, I'm going to add more uh, compression just to, you know, keep it keep it one nice little uh, wave. 
So there you go. That's already a nice FM growl. Uh, and if you want to keep going, you can uh, keep going with distortion. Um, frequency shifter is a nice one. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Bit crusher sometimes works. Uh, if you don't have enough high end, bit crusher can be a nice way to add noise and also to add more high. End. Yeah, that's a good example right there. Yeah, perfect example right there. Um, and you, you can revocode it if you're really into that. Um, I'll just do a bunch of stuff. Let's try uh, a little phaser on here. Just like, I like to lower the mix because, you know, phaser isn't, um, it adds a lot of like weird stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice sound right there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, hopefully that was uh, useful to you guys. And yeah, have a great day. Peace.